makes it grow. How comes I can only grow long hair from my nose? How comes I always cook far too much spaghetti? And it's finally time I dealt with that. Once and for all. How comes retail prices always end at 99? And how comes my computer doesn't work all the time? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me, mate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me, mate. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got a clue, mate. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I haven't got a clue, mate. I don't know. How comes when you want some rain, it's nearly always sunny? How comes when you tell a joke, it's never half as funny? How comes when you find a sock, the other one's in hiding? And when you want to stroll on the beach, you'll always find a side in. How comes when you get a flat, you've never got a jack? And every time you join a queue, you're always at the back. I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me mate, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't got a clue mate, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me pal, I don't know, I haven't got a clue, I just don't know, you can't ask for any more than that mate, I don't know. How comes when I cut the grass, it always makes it grow? How comes I can only grow long hair from my nose? How comes I always cook far too much spaghetti? Why no clever scientists ever interviewed the Yeti? How comes retail prices always end in 99? How comes my computer doesn't work all the time?
some flowers, stuck them in the ground. Next day I realised my flowers had drowned. Got a tree, gave it some water. Then my tree grew two feet shorter. Had a lawn, gave it some feed. Killed the grass, grew a load of weed. Got some bolts, put them in the border. Next day I had a load of bolts to reorder. Some were blue, some were goldy. Most of them are just gone mouldy. I took a course in horse culture. Looks like my bed has been eaten by a vulture. Grew some spuds all in a row. Dug them up, but most I had to throw. Had a rose with leaves and buds. Left my hose on, came home to the floods. I'll give up potting in my shed. Everything I plant ends up dead. Tripped on the curb, busy reading the blurb Looking at posters and shops full of posters Hammers and nails in the January sales Kettles and grills and reruns of the bill On the TV tonight, well I guess it's alright If you don't have a life, alright, that's nice I'm gonna live in my shed, inside my head Far from the world, at the back of my shed Sick of the ads being lavish in films And the sludge of my rats sending me my bills I'm gonna live in my shed, inside my head Far from the world at the back of my shed I tripped on the curb, busy reading the blur Looking at posters and shops full of toasters Hammers and nails in the January sale Hammers and grills and reruns of the bill On the TV tonight, well I guess that's alright If you don't have a life, alright, that's nice I'm gonna live in my shed, inside my head Far from the world, at the back of my shed Sick of the ads being louder than films And the sludge in my rats sending me my bills I'm gonna live in my shed, inside my head Far from the world, at the back of my shed Right, there we are, jacket hooks at last. Two of them, no less, and a helmet stand as well. It's proper beef, I can swing on it, it's bolted to the building frame, so I'm really happy with that. And I've used up a load of that old chains, disc and scrap from the Street Fighter project ages ago, and I'm really, really happy with that. Now that was the second of two little indulgent projects. I just wanted to do a couple of things for me, for the unit, so I've got them there to use as I want. The last one being the bench tidy in there. So now we're gonna get back to business. I have rather amazingly been given access to a professional paint booth and all of the relevant mixing equipment to make proper two-pack paint and do a proper paint job on my Harley Davidson. So it would be rude not to because if you followed the project on the Harley, eventually I did paint it, I did it with that scuffed metal and I painted it with acrylic rattle can paint and the job came out amazingly well. There are no problems with it whatsoever but it is rattle can paint and I've now got an opportunity to paint it with two-pack in a proper spray booth and it would be rude not to share that with you. So there's going to be a little project from now on. Four videos I'm thinking probably at the most. It'll be strip it, prep it, paint it, rebuild it, and then after that I'll take you out on the road and we'll talk maybe about that upgrading the three oils I did because there are some serious differences to the way that bike rides with the specified gear oil and all that. So I'll share that with you too at the end, but first of all we've got the paint work to do and I'm really looking forward to that. So join me the next one, we'll strip the bodywork off and start getting ready for paint. Music 